Perry, you I, I know you watched the game. Uh, wh what were your thoughts? My thoughts was you want to talk about a dynasty on the FCS level. I think you see the torch now has been passed from North Dakota State to South Dakota State. And South Dakota State, everything about them looks physical. And you're talking about one of the best defenses that you probably have ever seen in your lifetime on this level in the FCS. But nonetheless, this was a close game. Don't let that final score Facts. fool you. This, this game was close leading all the way into halftime in which it was 7-3 going into halftime. South Dakota State scoring 16 points in the third quarter and being able to pull off. And you look at the overall in this game, both teams was even at 17 first down. Montana 4-16, but they had to try to convert fourth downs a lot. Going 2-5 of five on fourth downs, that was tough situations, particularly late in the game, that they found themselves trying to convert and keep their drives alive. 259 total yards, 212 yards passing. 47 on the ground, three turnovers in this ball game, two by way of fumble and the interception for Montana. On the other side for South Dakota State, much success. Four of 11 on third down. They didn't go forward on fourth. 363 total yards in this ball game, 175 in the air, 188 on the ground. Very modest and balanced day uh, for this team. Two turnovers, one fumble and an interception. Clifton McDowell for Montana had a tough day in, uh, in, in, in South Dakota State. Defense was getting after him. 22 of 39, 165 yards, a touchdown. Excuse me, an interception. And he only had 13 carries for two yards. And then Corbin Walker with an interception for Montana on the other side. And it was a beautiful interception. But then oh, you look that, for, He read that so nice. Man, he oh, read he that. Did, nice. man. It was beautiful. Then you look at on the other side for South Dakota State. Uh, Mark Gronkowski, man, look. The Walter Payton Award win. He was also the most outstanding player of the game, 13 of 21, 175 yards passing, one touchdown and an interception, and the big dude can run. Eight carries, 53 yards, and a touchdown also to add with that. Isaiah Davis, 16 carries, 87 yards rushing and a touchdown. And Jordan Shanky, five receptions, 55 yards, one touchdown. South Dakota State was is now back-to-back -back FCS national champions, 15-0. 15 and 0, man. Do you know how hard it is to go 15 and 0? Yeah. And not only did they go 15 and 0, they had 10 wins over ranked opponents this year. And Whoa. they now have the third longest winning streak in FCS history, sitting at 29 games with a winning streak right now. San Diego, South Dakota State has outscored four opponents in the playoffs 146 to 15. And that defense only allowed nine points per game. But what was crazy coming into this ball game? Montana was eight and zero versus South Dakota State, and two of those wins eight and zero came in the FCS playoffs previously.